Pripyat, Ukraine is said to be one of the scariest places on earth. Still to this day, it is considered highly radioactive, yet people still choose to visit and explore its abandoned ruins. From streets lined with gas masks to radioactive spiders. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 Dark Things Found in Chernobyl Part 2 Starting off this countdown, we have the sarcophagus. Basically, this is a massive steel and concrete structure that covers the Chernobyl power plant. It was designed to help contain the radiation. The construction of the structure lasted for 206 days, and those working on it had to work in shifts of no more than 7 minutes. Any more time spent near the reactors would have killed them. But still, they did sacrifice their lives building this because thousands of workers still died from exposure to the radiation. Those that survived got severely ill, and majority of them developed cancer. Nowadays, the sarcophagus is still there, but it's beginning to crumble. In 2019, they were in the process of dismantling it because it was going to collapse. So a new one is currently being installed. That's probably the scariest thing in Chernobyl because of how deadly the building it's containing is. Coming in at number 9 we have the gas masks and if you guys are liking this video or want to see part 3 then smash that like button. Chernobyl already looks like the place where an apocalypse occurred. Buildings are completely abandoned, run down and overgrown with nature. What doesn't help is the piles upon piles of gas masks scattered all throughout Chernobyl. This really adds to the eeriness of this place and again makes it look like a place where a zombie or alien takeover occurred. In fact there is one room inside a school which is just completely filled with child size gas masks. It's very creepy, but also sad. Like imagine how frightened the young children were when this happened. The gas masks found there are just a sad reminder of the horrors that took place there when the reactor exploded. Moving on to number 8 we have the rotting toys. Littered all throughout the city are toys or personal belongings people had to leave behind. The saddest thing to see are pictures of children's toys left behind. Like I just think that was probably someone's favorite little dolly. Go anywhere there and you'll find items scattered everywhere, now broken and covered in filth. Like imagine, you're rushed out of your home and have to leave behind all your personal belongings. That must have been so hard. I can't imagine how everyone must have felt. It's really depressing to think about. Moving on at number 7 we have the examination chair. So uh, this one is pretty strange, but somehow a gynecologist examination chair ended up in the middle of the woods outside of a hospital. Not only is that super weird, but it's also super creepy. It's all rusted and beat up and looks like an old torture device. Not only that, but that means someone had to go inside the abandoned hospital, find that chair and then carry it all the way back down and into the woods. I got a lot of questions. Why would someone do this? And how long did it take them to do this? And again, why would someone do this? Either way, it makes for a very spooky encounter. Moving on at number 6 we have the abandoned cooling tower. A partially constructed cooling tower can be found at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. They were built to evaporate the cooling water from the two new reactors. Sadly, they were never completed. Now, these things are massive. The diameter was over 120 meters and it stands at 150 meters tall. Obviously, after the accident, there was no need to continue on with the construction of this, so the government just left the towers there along with everything else. Eventually, over time, nature will have its way with it and it will start to erode and crumble. It's just crazy seeing all these abandoned infrastructures. Imagine how life would have been if that explosion never happened. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the toxic river. There's a river that's just filled with radioactive water right near the reactor. The scariest part is despite how toxic the water is, a bunch of aquatic life live there. In particular, giant catfish. Yes, giant catfish. A video from 2016 shows a massive catfish swimming in the water. People originally were like, oh my god, what the heck is that? It must be some sort of mutated animal. Later, it was just found out to be a giant catfish. But still, what the heck? And it's the fact that they have adapted to be able to survive in that highly toxic water. Like, that just baffles me. Not only that, but they can thrive there because the water has no higher predators. Obviously, though, you're not allowed to go fishing there. Okay, I feel like that's a given, but I also feel like people would still try it, so I'm just gonna say it. Don't go fishing there. In our 
fourth spot, we have the jarfish. Speaking of fish, we're gonna go with this. So back in 2016, photographer and journalist Miriam Wazer took a trip to explore the ruins of Chernobyl. While inside an abandoned building, she came across something very creepy and odd. She found a bunch of fish and other specimen in jars. Why someone was collecting fish, it just baffles many. And they weren't even like proper beakers or science mason jars. No, no, it looked like someone emptied out their jar of pickles and then used it to store the specimen. I think it's best if those remain untouched. Like, can you imagine how stinky they would be if they were open nowadays? They would reek. Old stinky fish is not something I would ever want to handle. Now the other specimen beside the fish are unknown. No one knows what the heck they are. But if you know, let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number three, we have the abandoned hospitals. The hospitals at Chernobyl are quite eerie. They're just filled with rusted, empty hospital beds, littered syringes, and more. The walls and floors are cracking, and there's dirt and questionable red marks on the floor. I think the saddest thing, though, is that these hospitals are often trashed with medical supplies just tossed everywhere. The days after the explosion happened, people were frantically rushing to hospitals. Hospital staff were overwhelmed by the amount of people there. This moment is still preserved in the hospitals to this day. It's pretty dark once you think about it. And at number two today, we have the Sad Alley. The Sad Alley, or the Alley of Memory, is an alley in the Ukraine created in memory of the villages and residents who had to flee from their homes during the disaster. Basically, it's a walkway with signs lining the sides. These signs are names of cities and villages that had to evacuate and leave everything behind. It's a way to ensure we just never forget the impact that this disaster had. It's really sad. And in our number one spot today, we have the radioactive spiders. Yes, you heard me correctly. Imagine if Peter Parker got bit by one of these bad guys. He'd be like a weirdly mutated Spider-Man or something like that. But anyways, the spiders in the exclusion zone are radioactive. So you definitely don't want to be bit by one. Oh wait, it gets worse. They also make radioactive webs. Yeah, you heard me, that's a thing. So you don't have to just worry about these spiders, but you have to worry about walking through their deadly webs. Like, what the heck? No thank you, nah, -uh. I'm not a fan of spiders, but imagine radioactive ones. That sounds like it belongs in a horror movie. Radioactive, radioactive. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these items you found the creepiest. And now, speaking of comments, I'm gonna be shouting out comments from the video. Top 10 true stories, scarier than The Conjuring, part three. Master Jedi Joe Willis commented, the two boys on the train tracks are connected to a drug smuggling ring which has been connected to Bill Clinton. Bro, that's probably just your conspiracy theory, but if that's real, that is just mind blown. Woo! That's crazy. <laughs> Minraja commented, a second autopsy was performed on those two hunters and it was found out that they were stabbed to death in the heart. <laughs> Guys, this just gets crazier and crazier. I'm like, what is going on here? Like, I need to get to the bottom of this. I need to find out what really happened to them. I don't know how, but I wanna solve this mystery, okay? Angela Botha commented, I almost peed myself laughing. You read the comments. Some people just have issues. You guys are awesome, and I love all of the presenters and content. FYI, also subscribe to Peach. Loving every video. That's right, go ahead and go over to Peach, my other channel, and go subscribe to it, because it's amazing. This person thinks so, she's loving every video, so you need to go check out every video. Go binge watch it. Please, go check out Peach. Alright guys, that's all the comments I've shout out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see ya when I see ya. Stay peachy. The gas mask there, oh, the gas mask. Bip, 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 bip. Obviously, after the accident, there was no need to continue on with the construction, so the government just left the towers there along with, oh, yeah. <laughs> radioactive, radioactive.